Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today I am going to be doing a really quick video of my January wrap up. Um, I've got stuff going on at the house. I've got people in and out. So I just wanted to do this really, really quick. Um, the first book that I read in the month of January was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmer. Um, this was a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I know I thought I read this in December, but I actually read it in, it was my first read in January. I did give it a five star read on my Goodreads, um, which I will try and link below um, my Goodreads. But um, I absolutely loved this and it probably is ranking pretty high on my favorites. So we'll see how the year continues up with that. So that was my fantasy read for this month. My contemporary read for this month was The Air and the Spare. Um, I gave it four stars on my good read. It was really just a cute little, I mean, short, I read it in a day. Um, and I really, I mean, it was easy. It was such an easy read. It was still very enjoyable. I, um, if you haven't read it, I do recommend it uh, because it was still just, super, super fun to read um, and, a, and a quick read. The next book that I tried to read um, was Pride and Prejudice. This was my, um, my classic that I wanted to read in the month of January. I did get most of the way through it, but it was boring. I'm so used to reading other high active type books and this just moved very very slow I had a hard time staying in interested in it and so for me I just I can't just continue reading a book that I'm not enjoying what even if it is on my TBR um, I did listen to the um, audiobook of it and just kind of skimmed through it. I have uh, read other adaptations of this and have loved it. I have watched the movies that have been based upon this book and I have loved it. So I think I just wasn't in the right headspace to read this. It is something that I will come back to in the future, but I, um, I didn't even rate it just because I knew that I didn't completely read it front to back kind of a thing, um, just skimmed it mostly. So in the future, I will come back to this, but for right now, it just, it wasn't in the books for me. Um, the next one that I read was my Just For Fun book, and it was Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. This was uh, about a witch uh, that lived next to the Wicker Woods. The Wicker Woods are um, mysterious. They're, they're very alive. Uh, with their own essence and um, she finds a boy in the wicker woods on a full moon and it goes into this big huge story of how did he get there he was missing from a boys camp not too far from the wicker woods and um, the wicker woods usually collects lost things from other people uh, that have lost them around this lake and so um, I found this story to be quite predictable. Um, it, however, it is an amazingly gorgeous book. This book was uh, an Owl Crate version, so you can't get this copy of it anywhere other than through Owl Crate. It's got the beautiful blue sprayed edges and the white cover where I believe the original cover is a black cover and it doesn't have the sprayed edges. It was a very good read. I think I, what did I give it? I gave it three stars. And that's just because I felt like it was very predictable. There wasn't, it wasn't very character driven. It was more um, talking about the ambiance. Uh, and I did, when I did read this, I felt cold. Like, it, because you're in the middle of a winter storm, it's very chilling. I drank tea while I read this book because I just kept getting very chilly while I read it. I, as much as I loved this book, I found quite a few things that I didn't like about the book, uh, mainly the lead character kept bringing up, she was very repetitive in the things that she would say about being a wicker woman. And 
So it, there were certain things that just kind of didn't mesh well with me. I do know that a lot of people really liked this book. They really actually loved this book. So I think my own personal reasons were just because of it being so obvious and the repetition in the things that she would say uh, kind of turned me off a little bit, but it was still a really good read and it's a beautiful book and I will never get rid of this copy because it is just so gorgeous and it is signed by the author. Okay, so this is my sequels book that I read and it's A Heart So Fierce and Broken and it is the sequel to A, Car a Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kamara. And it is, uh, it continues along the story. However, some people didn't like it as much because it doesn't follow the lead uh, characters. It actually follows a secondary character, Gray. And um, it, I, I, I loved it. I gave this book five stars. Um, and so uh, I highly recommend this. This is up there on my favorite series. I would have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying this and I look forward to reading the next book. I just wish that they would come out with it sooner because reading the first two books back to back, I just want to keep reading it. And I loved it. It was good. It was very, very, very good. This is A Nameless Queen and this was a brand new book that just came out uh, this month in January. And um, it is about a nameless girl who the king dies and how he passes on the kingdom. Um, is through a tattoo and he, before he dies he whispers the name of the next person to be king or queen and um, the lead character coin she is basically homeless um, she doesn't have a name she is kind of the lowest on the totem pole as far as what uh, is in the kingdom and so she wakes up one morning and she's got the tattoo across her arm and everything kind of goes haywire because, you know, how can a nameless person be named queen when she technically doesn't have a name? So, um, and then getting the tattoo, you are given certain special powers. Um, this book, I so that is what I thought about this book. Uh, the next book that I, um, I read and I listened to the audio book, uh, was the Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I know I was going to read the prequel to the Sarah J. Mass book, but um, I was told that I needed to read the first two or three of these before going back to and reading the prequel. So that way it kind of makes a little bit more sense and is more enjoyable. This is a great book. So uh, Selena Sardothian is an assassin and she is, uh, she was in prison at the beginning of the book. They pull her out of prison uh, to compete in the king's, um, to become the king's assassin. And so she is against all these <coughs> other assassins and criminals yeah. and things that uh, yeah. they're trying to become the king's assassin and if she becomes the king's assassin she has to be the king's assassin for like three or four years and then she can earn her freedom um and so and if she fails then she has to go back to this horrible horrible prison someone starts killing the competitors off and so they um she has to try and figure out what's going on and uh it's a lot of intense and it's very fast paced and it's amazing. I absolutely loved it. I gave it a five star read um, and I look forward to reading the next one in the series. Um, I also listened to an audiobook, Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston, if I'm saying that correctly. I, I just listened to on the audiobook. I've heard all over of, you know, how wonderful this book is. It's about, um, the second in line crown prince and uh the president's first son and it's kind of a hate to love really uh hate to love story they get into a like a confrontation of sorts and so they have to fake a friendship and that friendship grows and it turns into something <laughs> more and um so it was it was a very cute read um i kind of felt like 
It was more a four star read for me. Um, I wasn't thoroughly into it as I have been other books, but I'm not a big contemporary reader. So that I think is why I kind of felt that way as far as my like of it. So um, the, the story was well written. The characters were beautifully written. I absolutely love the banter between the two. And um, so, uh, yeah, I think it was more just because it, it isn't in my niche quite, you know, as far as what I really normally go to in books, but it was still a very, very good read. Uh, the last book that I read this month was Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto. Um, I wanted to get this one read because uh, it, the sequel is coming out in February, and so I'm looking forward to getting it. I actually ordered the Owl Crate uh, special edition, so it's going to come with sprayed edges. I'm so excited. Uh, this isn't the Owl Crate version of this book. I'm sure uh, the one that they came out with is much prettier. They kind of tend to go above and beyond on their special editions. However, the story was amazing. It is about um, a girl. Well, it, it's in in this world. They ride Phoenix. They have Phoenix riders, and Phoenix riders have all but become extinct. Um, there's a lot of political issues going on within the universe of the book, and so um, it, it comes with our lead character who finds an egg with her sister, and um, when the egg hatches. The, the phoenix bonds with her instead of her older sister. And so um, anyway, the story goes on and she ends up separating with her sister and she wants to join this group of phoenix riders. And the only way to do that is by pretending to be a boy um, because they are only um, bringing boys into their schooling. So um, it kind of gives me a lot of Mulan vibes as far as like, because she wants to be this amazing fighter. She wants to fight for what she believes in, but yet because she is a female, she is um, passed over. And so she goes in as, um, uh, as, you know, she fakes being a boy so she can go in and join this group and it's it's very, very fast paced. I loved it. Um, I did listen to the audio book of this more than I read out of it and that was just because I had so much going on in my personal life and so I opted for the audio book version and I rated this book a five star. I'm looking forward to the Owl Crate version coming out. Um, I've already um, purchased it so as soon as it comes in the mail I'm going to be so excited so anyhow I hope you enjoyed my January 2020 wrap up if you haven't already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and just hit that bell icon you know that way anytime I upload videos you'll be the first one to know um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'm sorry about all the craziness going on around my house I have dogs and kids and it's just noisy and I can't help it so um, and also my background is going to be changing around a little bit um, I'm getting different bookshelves and I'm redoing my bookshelves and so you'll just have to wait and see what it looks like in the future so uh, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video bye